Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Terry, and I will be your Sunday school teacher for grades four to 12. This is for grades four to six. This, list, this particular lesson is for grades four to six. Um, as you know, we're going to have heifer this year. I cannot wait for the living gift market at the end of the month. We'll talk more about that another Sunday. But today, we're going to talk about how there are many people around the world who are trying to feed themselves and just are not able to, to and need just a little bit of help from people like you and I. Like take, for instance, I don't know if you notice, I have a little uh, goat pen on me because I've decided that I would like to sponsor a goat. And I have my, already, I have my thermometer so that I can record how much money is brought in for goats, for me, okay? That I will give to somebody, another family out there. And um, I have my bank, which we're all going to receive. Here's my bank. And you can hear, I've started collecting money. I'll count the money and record it and let you know on the next lesson how much money I have raised towards a goat. And what I want you to do is, uh, you're going to receive in your packet a magazine like this, and it's called the Gift Catalog. Look through it. It has all the animals in here. It has also seeds. Um, it has lots of different things, water pumps. You can look through here and decide what you would like to sponsor. It's an awful lot of work to do it by yourself. So your family can work together to do this, or you can work with your friends from church, contact them, FaceTime them, make some plans, um, and we'll talk more how you can do that on another day. But for today, I wanted to talk a little bit about a story about a family or families in Africa, and it was in Zambia. And these families worked in a copper mine, and they were able to, actually it's the fathers that did this, and they were able to have plenty of money to buy food, uh, they were given housing, they had, um, let's say, clothing and all kinds of things, so that there was no problems. One family in particular, the father had worked in the copper mine for 24 years when the copper mine was sold. And this was in Africa, and it was bought by a company in China. Well, China decided to let them go. Didn't even give a reason for it. They let them go and hired other people to do their job. These poor people didn't know what to do with themselves. They didn't know what, to, for 24 years, they'd worked in a copper mine. Where do they work now? So what they ended up doing was nothing. And the wife said, but we need to eat. So they started a garden and that helped a lot. Um, it, it gave them some food and they might eat once a day, maybe if they were lucky, twice a day. They'd make a big soup and they would uh, have maize in it. Uh, which is another word for corn, but they still didn't really have a whole lot to eat. And then Heifer Project moved into their area, into their place in Africa. And by the way, I found that place on this map right here. And it was, let me see, right here. There's Zambia right here on the map in, in Africa. And um, so Heifer Project, as I said, came there and then what they did is they invited people to come in and they learned about heifers and how to take care of them. And they learned, believe it or not, by reading the book about Dan West and um, how he brought cows um, to, uh, to different, a different country, it was in Puerto Rico, and he named the first three cows Faith, Hope, and Charity. And one man decided he would name his next daughter Hope because this gave them hope. They received cows. The one woman who was a grandmother, she received a, two cows, I believe, to begin with. She ended up with seven cows after seven years and three cows 
she'd already given away. So she had seven for herself that provided milk for her and her eight grandchildren. And she also uh, was able to sell milk. And then she was able to start a little store in her home and sold products there. So Heffa really helped her out a lot. And it really helped out those men that uh, had the large families too, that had eight and 10 children and had cows to help them out. And so that's what we're going to do. You are going to, along with some help of your friends or family members, are going to decide on your animal and let us know by next week. You can either email us or you can call us, uh, text us, and let us know what your animal is going to be that you're going to sponsor. And you will also receive a button for your animal and um, heifer will be underway. So we have, after this Sunday, three more Sundays to get ready for the Living Gift Market. Um, you'll be able to come down sometime this week. Uh, we'll let you know when, uh, when your packets are ready and come and pick them up and take them home and work on heifer from home. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Goodbye until next Sunday.